How shall I begin this tale so you will get some sense of what manner of creature I am? I have only come to learn these things through my experiences. Perhaps then you shall learn about me and my nature as I did in the context of others. As the stories unravel, tiny shreds of myself shall come to light and a portrait of suffering and self-realization will present itself for all to examine. Then you can decide what I am, for I do not know. Once upon a time. Now how many times have you heard that at the beginning of a story, may I ask? But it does set a tone, does it not? A magical resonance that shall set the mood of the stories that lay ahead. So with that said, I shall begin this tale again. Once upon a time, there was a lovely young woman named Morgan. She wanted nothing more in her life than contentment, someone to love her and peace of mind. Sadly, she never achieved her dreams, but that shall reveal itself as the story unfolds. She found me one afternoon at her friend Dominique's house. Actually, I belonged to Jillian, Dominique's mother. I lived with her for many years, surrounded by soulless eyes staring at me in the darkness. The sound of Jillian's maddening laugh echoing in my ears and her tears staining my dress. But that is another tale. Uh, hello, Morgan. Come in. Hi, Jillian. Perhaps I shall tell it when she is free from this world. But this is not Jillian's time. It is Morgan's. The story of Morgan and Dominique. <laughs> Morgan was a shy, beautiful girl, and she was easily manipulated. You might get the wrong impression from that statement, for when I say that, I do not mean that she was not strong, bold, and a beauty in her own right. She was. But she was trusting and willing to believe the things that those around her told her. Especially if she loved you. Huh? Morgan loved me for a short time. Uh, look at this box of dolls! I wish I were still in that box of Jillian's. As miserable as living in that damp, ugly box was, it was better than causing one more person pain. <laughs> Poor Morgan. Morgan's sweetness and capacity to love was her virtue, and ultimately her downfall. Now, back to that horrible box, and the day that Morgan saved me from it. It's their coffin. <laughs> They're all dead. They were never alive, Jillian. Uh, what? No one ever plays with them anymore. They're dead. Uh, oh. Mom, stop being crazy. I'm not crazy, you know. Well, the dolls really are lovely. Take one, if you want. Huh? Uh, no, I, I didn't mean... Oh, but she is lovely. Look at her. Thank you. Take it, I insist. Come on, Morgan, I'm ready. Um, okay. Thanks for the doll. Goodbye, Jillian. Uh, where are we going? It's a surprise. My heart was closed to Dominique long ago. Once my love for her was beyond measure, our souls were connected, as it were. But somehow, I doubt that she even has one now. But for all Dominique's flaws, Morgan does love her. So I take notice of her. I see her through Morgan's eyes. I don't see the monster. I see a beautiful woman, confused, Daring, strong, and bewitching, a woman Morgan loves with all of her heart. Uh, 
This is so beautiful. I would like to finish our conversation from the other night. Um, okay, but... <sighs> you don't believe me, do you? Sure I do. It's just kind of crazy. That's all. <sighs> Look, let's not ruin our special night together. We can talk about it later. But... No, darling. It can wait. <laughs> I knew that would shut you up. I had a wonderful night. Thank you. You're welcome, sweetheart. Remember what I said. I will think about it. Good night. I love you. Don't take too long. Good night, darling. <sighs> What's wrong with you? Oh, nothing, Lilith. I just had an amazing night, that's all. <sighs> Sweetie, I'm going out for a while. I'll be back a little later tonight. You can tell me all about it then, okay? Okay, I'm gonna take a nap. See you later. about you. Huh? Hello, Dominique, sweetie. Have you made a decision? Uh, no, not yet. Morgan, are you fucking with me? Have you given this any thought? Of course I have. It, it's just that- Don't you want to be with me forever? I do, but- You don't believe me, do you? Believe her, Morgan. It's just a lot to think about. <sighs> there isn't a lot of time. You better make up your mind soon. Okay. I'll call you soon. Bye. Run away. Lilith, I made some screwdrivers earlier. They're in the fridge. Thank you, sweetheart. Let's have some. Okay. Here you go, honey. What's wrong? Um... Do you mind answering the phone tonight? I don't feel like talking to Dominique right now. Is she being crazy again? Sort of. Is it that fucking vampire thing? <sighs> yes. I told you, she's crazy. No, she's not. She thinks she's a fucking vampire, Morgan. <sighs> I, I don't know what to think. <sighs> it's her. I'll get it. Hello? No, I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Okay, bye. That was her. Fuck! She just called like two seconds ago! Look, honey, I hope you're not starting to believe her again like last time. I don't know. I think I'm gonna go spend the night at Ian's. What should I say if she calls again? Tell her I'm sleeping. See you later. out. Hmm? Huh. Hello, Morgan. Ian's in his room. Hi, Mimi. Is it okay to go back there? Sure, honey. He's expecting you. Hi, Ian. Hmm? Hello, they're beautiful. Sit down. What's wrong? 
Dominique is acting really strange. I don't know what to do. What did she do? I don't know. I really don't want to talk about it. It's like one minute she's totally sweet, and the next minute she's threatening me. Morgan, she's freaked out like this before, and usually... No, Ian, it's different this time. She won't stop talking about it. And it's kind of freaking me out. Do you believe her? I don't think so. Ian, I'm scared. So am I. You should tell her. At least talk to her. I know. Why do you put up with her crazy shit, Morgan? I love her. She's my friend. Do you want to stay the night? Tammy's staying at her mom's tonight. She's pissed at me. Stay with me. No, please don't stay. Forget about Dominique for tonight. Moonlight. Oh, look at you. You're so sweet. Huh? What's that, Moonlight? Are you hurt, Kitty? Uh <gasps> oh my god! Mimi! Mimi, help! Morgan, what have you done? It has all become so confused over the years, wondering if I am merely a witness to the suffering or the cause of it. I shall never know, or rather, I will not allow myself to fully acknowledge it. How could something like myself, created by someone with so much sadness, pain, and suffering, be anything but an instrument for the same? But again, that is another story, and I digress. My poor, darling Morgan. 